The toolbox of Nintex Workflow Cloud's Workflow Designer has had a major update in the June 2022 R2 release. In this video, I will take you through the new look and its features. In a side-by-side -side comparison with the previous toolbox, you can see that they are visually different. The toolbox is initially divided into two sections. The first section is the utility actions. This section contains all the groups of actions that you are familiar with when designing your workflows. It has actions to help you with the logic and flow of the workflow, assigning tasks and modifying strings, as well as actions to do conversions and a lot more. The next section is the connector library. Here you will find a long list of action groups that can interact with many different applications. These include popular applications such as Azure, Google, database connections and connections to other Nintex offerings. You will notice a star next to each of the action groups. Clicking the star will put the action group into a third section of the toolbox called Favorites, which is located at the top of the toolbox for easy access. Favorite the groups of actions you use regularly so that they are at your fingertips. Note that you can only favorite up to 10 groups, so choose wisely. Your favorite action groups are remembered from workflow to workflow, so there is no need to re-add them for each workflow. Clicking the star again will remove the action group from the favorites section. Clicking the star or the spanner above the A to Z index will bring your favorites or utility action groups to the top of the toolbox respectively. A new feature is the A to Z index down the left-hand side of the actions. Are you looking for the QR code generator for your latest check-in document? Well, click the Q from the letters index to jump straight to the QR code generator action group. Don't want to scroll all the way down to find the Zendesk action group. Click the Z and you're already there. Of course, scrolling up and down through the action groups is still available if you would like to browse through the available actions. The search bar has been retained, which makes it easier to jump straight to the action you are looking for. Nintex Workflow Cloud has around 120 connector groups and growing, which means you can integrate many of your business's applications in your workflows. This also means that some unused action groups may be filling up your actions toolbox. The next feature I would like to show you is the ability to turn off action groups that are not required. Nintex Workflow Cloud administrators can navigate to settings from the top navigation bar and then click on connector availability from the left menu. By default, all connectors will have their availability turned on. Clicking the switch next to the connector that you are not using will set its availability as off and the action group will not appear in the actions toolbox. That looks a lot neater. Apart from reducing the number of action groups that appear in the actions toolbox, this feature can also be used to restrict some connectors being used in workflows. Just remember, if you are ever looking for a way of compressing a PNG image, or you decide to start automating your WebEx conferences, but can't find an action, check the connector availability to make sure you have not turned the action group off. In this video, I took you through the new look toolbox of the Nintex Workflow Cloud Workflow Designer. I hope you find the new features as helpful as I have. For more information about the Nintex Workflow Cloud Toolbox, please see the Nintex Workflow Cloud help files.